Hello Jean Guy, I wanted to show you this uh, Runco LS10 I'm working on. It's a uh, $25,000 projector. I believe I mentioned it to you. Anyway, I wanted to uh, show you what I found. Uh, the problem with it is they would go to turn it on. The uh, control box that drives it, this guy, is reporting a temperature error. Display temp error is the error, but it actually ended up being a problem with the power supply. The uh, MOSFET that goes down here, this guy, is shorted. I had to remove that large capacitor to get to it. You can see it's kind of difficult to get to down in there, but once I unsoldered it, it wasn't too bad. The other thing I had to do was repair this case. You can see a small bump here. I still have to flatten that. I may leave it alone. But at some point, the spot welds were damaged, and this whole piece was flapping. So I re-welded it using my spot welder. That's the housing for the power supply. This would drop down in there. <clears throat> Here's the ballast right in there and the power input conditioning board so the that's the power plug that would feed in wait a minute yeah that goes on this side that sends the power in it gets conditioned and then it goes into the projector through here and then we have the power factor correction that's for the high voltage the 380 volts that go to the ballast and then this is the low voltage area uh, this would be similar to the runco that you have with all the capacitors that would be changed it's that portion of the circuit it's where we get our zero three volts five volts and 12 volts from and they are fed out through this wire this wire then feeds power to the video input and main board there's the translation board for driving other fans and the lenses. And then there's a whole 3 DLP section. Let me see if I can show you this safely. Yeah, unplug that. All right, unplug this. There we go. This is quite impressive. three DLP chips. So the light comes in through the integrator tunnel, goes off that mirror, then gets split up to feed all of the chips. Got a chip on here, a chip on here, and another one. And they come out through that combiner piece of glass and then out through the main lens. Uh, this needs a pretty reasonable cleaning, but it's not too bad. Seen much worse. This fan's pretty dirty, but I've seen fans where these, you can't even see the blades. They're so clogged. So I need to check my parts bins and see if I have something here that I can use. If not, I'll have to order one. It's not very expensive. Uh, but as you can see, it will, you know, a little cheap part here will take out a very expensive projector. It's kind of funny seeing a $30,000 projector like this, but... Uh, it's part of the fun of doing this. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that little tour, and I look forward to talking to you soon.